Who wants to live forever anyway? The human life circle has six main stages, fetus, baby, child, adolescent, adult, and elderly, which we refer to as old. <laughs> the first five we tend to embrace and take care of, but the last stage we either attempt to wish away, ignore, disdain, or mask. With a growing aging population, untimely deaths, and impaired living, conversations on growing a positive attitude to the inevitable dusk years is paramount. While we are somewhat relaxed while going through the other stages of life, we do not focus on investing in practices that will help tide us over in old age. It is when we have a health incident that we scramble to start living better to bribe old age. Just as inevitable as death is, so is old age. And while we cannot run from it, if we embrace it and work with it, it will be kinder to us. It is never too late to make positive changes, however. We must acknowledge the limitations if we start later rather than earlier to work towards an enhanced old age. Recently, plastic surgery has become the bane of aging. From one facelift to the next liposuction to the lifting of sagging bits, we have geriatrics looking odd with sculpted bodies and faces and doing nothing for enhancing the quality of life. The goal is to use our productive years to prepare for age that will lead to a decrease of everything that we once took for granted. While it is taken for granted on this side of the Atlantic that our children will look after us, it is gradually becoming irresponsible to leave the comfort of your old age to your children. There's a place for that, but reality must be faced. Work, train your kids, make investments, save for your latter years. If the kids turn out right and support you, well, great. If they don't, well, great too. You've provided for yourself. There's a thing called healthy aging, which refers to a reduction in the undesired effects of aging. The goals are maintaining physical and mental health, avoiding disorders, and remaining active and independent. Very important. For most people, maintaining general good health requires more effort as they age. Developing certain healthy habits can help, such as following a nutritious diet, exercising regularly, and stay mentally active. In this way, people can have some control over what happens to them as they age. Also, several factors influence life expectancy, and gaining knowledge is an added advantage. For example, you know, hereditary. What are those hereditary things? It influences whether a person will develop a disorder, know the family history, lifestyle, avoiding smoking, not abusing drugs and alcohol, maintaining a healthy weight, and diet, and exercising help people function well and avoid disorders. Exposure to toxins in the environment, well, it's a challenge, but it can shorten life expectancy even among people with the best genetic makeup. Healthcare, regular checkups can prevent disorders or treating disorders after they are contracted helps increase life expectancy. Old age may have its limitations and challenges, but despite them, our latter years can be some of the most rewarding and fulfilling of our lives. Time to start being deliberate about taking care of you for you for the dusk of life. Fantastic, fantastic comfort. So, let's you go. Know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I really love that topic. I'll tell you why. My wife always makes sure something. I make, you know, friends with senior citizens. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of old friends, you know, 65, 70, 75 year old friends. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, older friends. And one thing I've learned about them is in their earlier years, the ones, I mean, and I have all kinds. Mm -hmm. I have the billionaires, I have the rich ones, I have the ones that are struggling a bit. I realized that most of them, the ones that are doing very well, they made decisions early in life. In their 30s, in their 40s, they thought about their 70s and 80s and said, you know what, I have to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. And they made those preparations and it's paying off for them now. Mm -hmm. The ones that are not doing too well, well, a few of them, you know, life happened, but they didn't plan well enough. So it's very important to put that plan in, especially in your 30s and 40s, very important to start putting those things in your mind because, like you said, it's like death. Yeah. It's going to come. Yeah. I mean, it's like people say, I mean, I personally, for instance, people say, oh, they have a child, they're looking for money. To, but you've, had, you've been pregnant for nine months, mm. right? You know you're going to have a child in nine months. Mm. It's similar. Mm. You know you're going to be old. So you must prepare and start making plans to make your, you know, your old age more, you know. You know, you know, you know I work within the private sector. I've always done. I've never worked within the public sector. So when I turned 40, my best friend called me. He works in the UK and he said, Kunde, we both turned 40 this year. He turned in October, I turned in December. So he said, you know what? 
we're going to start investing in stock and we're going to do this and it's money we're not touching. And I said, why? Bros, mm -hmm. who even told you I have money? I said, I'm, I kept part of some money for you and you add what you have. We're going to invest in stocks and, <laughs> and it's going to be for our pension. Wow. And I was like, ah, bros, we're not dying. We're just 40. He said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say, do you see how zero to 40 happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, it was kind of fast. Secondly, so we'll exactly be friends. we we'll be friends since we're in crash. Mm -hmm. So it was like, did you see how fast that happened? The next 40 is that fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so even so faster. This is even faster. So it was like, come on, we have to start paying for it. Mm -hmm. He reminds me of every month, guy, what are you bringing? I'll bring this one, I'll bring my own put. And we started preparing. And I think you need to really be deliberate about it. Yeah. I can say, yes, we make a lot of careless decisions. I can say we eat worse than any other generation before us. Our Absolutely. Food is less healthy. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bio-generated rubbish, and which is generally not good for our bodies, which means we probably will tire faster than others. But if you look at the bright side, we have enough intelligence to prepare ahead. Yeah, yeah, when I hit 35, <coughs> I decided that, you know, number one, I was mm. going to do a certain thing at 40. I hit that milestone. And then I was lucky enough to read somewhere where it said, by the time, as if there's one demon hovering somewhere, you, the day you hit 40, mm. something breaks. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And it happened to me. The day I hit 40, I think it was my back mm. pain. I said, hey, it has happened. So immediately, immediately I started regular checkups, Changed my diet, water, it, just those small things, walking 30 minutes every day, just yeah. those things that we weren't doing. Like, can you imagine if I'd started that even 10 years earlier? How I'd look. And I saw the payoff. I honestly saw the payoff. I don't go to the hospital. I really don't. Mostly I don't. I mean, you have the one, two um, things here and there because your body has to, whatever. But That's the point right, yes. here is that. I don't go, I need to go to the hospital because I make sure I take my ginger, my lemon. When it's cold, I wear my sweater. You know, being more deliberate, yeah. doing mental exercises and all that. And I wish people would just embrace it. If you embrace it, it actually becomes a good thing because now you're not fighting it. So what is it really coming to fight you for? You're not fighting it. I've accepted. I'm old. I'm aging. It will come. My, I'm not as strong. My knees are paining me. My back is paining me. Sleeping <laughs> in the middle of the day. I'm not we're fighting not it. I'm not dragging. Besides, we're not even playing football. So no need for football. <laughs> <laughs> and it's even like yes. now, it's while I'm still young that mm -hmm. I have all the time to do all the running around, mm -hmm. exactly. all the vigorous exercises, all the um, intensive healthy. jobs, it's mm -hmm. in healthy, mm -hmm. it will pay off later. Mm -hmm. And all that, live your life to the fullest, enjoy yourself, mm -hmm. and you go about mm -hmm. taking alcohol, smoking, and drinking, and not thinking about tomorrow. Everybody is just worried about today. Mm -hmm. I think that's what my generation, my generation yeah. are really yellow, involved. The yellow generation. All yeah. they are looking forward to is enjoyment, they're not thinking about tomorrow because everything they're chasing is money. And you know, once you have money, mm. you're spending mm. on this, you're spending on that. And that's not the healthy way to live. Shall I say a little yes. bit about the issue of, you know, our African parents waiting for us to go to give them money? Yes, 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 yes. Because talking about planning, it's very important that when you're in your 30s, 40s, and you have enough time to plan, you begin to plan for your future so that you don't begin to, you won't have to rely on your children. If they give you money, fine. But there is this um, entitlement mentality, not just with parents now, but with everybody. Like mm. some people just, don't even now parents feel, I, I sent you to school, mm. I gave you everything. So it's time for you to give me back. But and, a, and fantastic I, topic. No, 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 and at know. this you know, rate. I'm glad that all of us are within the age bracket, you know, to actually consciously make changes. So, I mean, ho hopefully we'll spread the uh, message. And that's the size of the show today. Join us again next week on another edition of The Advocate. Please don't just listen. Share The Advocate with family and friends. The more diverse thoughts we share, the richer the solutions they inspire. The advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate NG. And Instagram, at plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate NG. 
don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Bye for now. Okay. Bye.